Hello, BookTube. This is another episode of Clearing My Wish List, where I select a number of books from my various wish lists, mostly Amazon because they have um, excerpts that I can read and decide whether I want to eventually buy the books, um, keep them on my wish list, or clear them out. Because my wish lists are in dire need of clearing out. Uh, today I'm looking at science fiction and fantasy. I've got a number of them uh, on the docket, so let's get going. First up is A Blood of the Serpent by S.M. Sterling. This is the a new Conan pastiche novel, um, and it seems to be set in uh, shortly before Red Nails, the uh, Robert E. Howard story. Um, I I thought the writing was strong. Um, it was interesting. I don't know necessarily if it's enough to entice me to want to buy it. I've largely turned against Conan pastiches in uh, recent years, uh, particularly given that my recent attempt at reading a uh, kind of pastiche from the late 80s or early 90s did not go well at all. So I'm very on the fence, leaning, so I don't know what exactly I'll do with this one. I'll Walk the Vanished Earth uh, by Aaron Swan is a um, fam multi-generational uh, family space uh, science fiction uh, epic. And I hated that opening. I just know. Next is hmm, last at Amazon. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Last Blade Priest by W.P. Wiles. This is an epic fantasy that the first chapter didn't entice me all that much, I must say, which is pretty much most of these actually which is for someone who loves science fiction and fantasy is a bit disappointing and depressing um next up is sweep of the stars um the first book in the astro black series by morris broadus this is a space opera um that um draws inspiration from uh African culture. Um, I I wasn't too enthralled. Next is A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. This is a fantasy romance with traces of mystery because I guess there needs to be some extra plot. Um, I love the cover. Um, the writing was okay, but I don't think I really want to read more of this than I did. The Atlas Six, which is book one in the Atlas series by Olivia Black, is, I'm thinking, a contemporary fantasy or young adult that features uh, young magicians getting an opportunity to gain more power. Um, I really did not like the first sentence, so no. It's going. Next up is Last Exit by Max Gladstone. Um, I don't know if this is a standalone or the first in a new series, but it's a contemporary fantasy um, in which a group of... Um, People from our world um, engaged in some epic um, adventures. I honestly wasn't all that impressed. And finally, The City Inside by Samit Basu. This is a near future science fiction novel uh, set in New Delhi about a young woman who acts as a manager for uh, equivalent of a media influencer and uh, the son of a 
wealthy family who doesn't quite know what to do with himself. And I didn't care for it. I like I mean, I think the writing was maybe fine, but it really didn't do anything for me. Not enough to want to go out and buy it. So I'm thinking except for the Conan. No, I think I'm going to just delete all of them. I think this is going to be a clean sweep. Um, so anyway, yeah. So it's a bit disappointing. Um, I've been feeling a bit morose lately with my lack of interest in science fiction and fantasy, given that they have been my favorite genres of fiction. But it is what it is. I probably, as I've mentioned numerous times, over the past two years, I think I've pretty much gone into a taste change. And science fiction and fantasy don't exactly draw me in as much as they used to. I mean, the same thing happened with detective fiction. I loved it when I was uh, in my early teens, like 12, 13, 14, 15. But when I came out of it, I, it really doesn't do anything for me. I mean, I still enjoy Agatha Christie, but I haven't, I don't feel interested enough to want to read other detective fiction. So, anyway. So, on that possible downer note, um, I'll go and sign off for now. I'll see you next Monday with a new video. Um, probably a discussion of um, classics, if I can manage to make it good. I tend to have some struggle with uh, discussion videos, but we shall see. So until I see you next week, thank you, BookTube. Have a great evening and stay safe.